a little bit uh, in two minds about it. I'm thinking if we don't actually have a magic system in place and you can't do that in university, she's going to go for quantum physics because they're more or less the same thing. Dag, dag. dag. Right, let's go through my extremely limited range of children's clothes and see if we can find something that doesn't look horrible. Okay. Roman gladiator outfits, and why not? It's these puffy shorts I really dislike. I don't mind the top. I don't think you're understanding that it's not whether the cat is the dead or alive, because at the, at, until you actually stop to work it out, the cat is both dead and alive, and that's the point. It. What it means is the cat is really crowded, and in there with a with a corpse of itself. So what should we do with you? Pretty cupcakes. What else have we got in there? I'm a star. Oh, oh, you know I think that has got to be done. I think that has got to be done and let's give her a skirt or something to go with that because she's while well, she's rebellious um, she's still being dressed by daddy on second thoughts given the fact that that is the skirt we have available oh dear lord no uh, I don't, I don't, it's not just the colour, I dislike the design. I think that's fairly horrible, to be totally honest with you. Pink shorts, eh? Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, I'm actually leaning towards that. I'm not entirely certain if pink is the colour, but uh, let's see what we can find. bit lighter uh, um, and let's get some different shoes on her I think that will do not like I have much in the way of clothes unfortunately I'm, I'm still I'm starting to sound a little Laura here but Laura would have a heart attack if she tried to dress out what I've got here and I can't say I blame her that um. <laughs> horrible even horrible <laughs> Fathers can't dress children, especially little girls. They're absolutely terrible at it. And I know, and it's a, there's a very good reason why I know, and that worked for me. I was quite happy not to do that after a while. Right, formal. Let's get her a, a really horrible little dress. <laughs> Yabaga. Yabaga. Uh, good lord. Not even I would buy my child that. Well, there's the fact he's male and 19, but uh, it doesn't actually look that bad on her, really, does it? Uh, I think this is a little bit overly fussy. But that looks alright. Let's see what it looks like with a decent pair of shoes. Yuck. Uh, 
Yeah, they'll do. Okay. And... We need to change her hair for a few dress a few bits and pieces as well, but we'll do that later on. Bed clothes. Gazupaka. Gazupaka. I think she's gonna follow the family tradition. And sportswear. What on earth is this sportswear? No. I think I will use that cupcake t-shirt. Uh, many, many, many girls had one of those as a teenager, yes. Uh, as a kid, rather, yes. Uh. Alright, so these... Doesn't actually look like exercise clothes, does it? Though I must admit, uh, none of this looked like exercise clothes at all, do they? So we don't. What we do is we're just going to put her in leggings and give her some trainers. And I'm definitely going to have to start thinking about buying some custom content if I am actually going to do this as a broadcast thing. Uh, if I give her those trainers, let's give change those leggings because they look horrible. What do these look like? Mm. Not good. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I live down the road from a Catholic school and. Uh, for many years, I was actually very, very, very happy at the thought of tartan dresses, uh, tartan skirts. Uh, very, very happy indeed, to be totally honest with you. One might go as far to say as overjoyed. Dag, dag. dag, dag. Get you a different colour for that, mate. Um, ah, that's better. That'll do. And I don't blame you. Uh, the further you stay away from the Bay City Rollers, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Alright, set. You're quite the charmer, or might be one with a little more effort. Now that you've learned a thing or two about charisma, you should try a charming introduction on a stranger. Your relationship can improve with the right introduction. And I think, by some strange coincidence, we have a stranger here, unless he's escaped. I think he might have escaped. Yep, he's fled. Damien did a good job of charming that guy, didn't he? Well... I think it was a different sort of getting inside the tartan skirt I was had in mind at the time. Slightly different, let's say. Watch TV. And Ellen, you've got a lot to do. And go to the loo. And go to bed. And you. Oh, you really need a shower. Let's sort your room out. Sounds a bit of money. Okay, and get your bed to start off with. Another the the massive range of choice we have here. Uh Right. We've still got very little money with these guys, but we've only been running them for a few days. As things improve, I will get them more and more stuff, and I think Ellen is going to have to uh, 
do without a lot of stuff at the moment, but let's at the very least get us some curtains. And for that, I want that one. Curtains and blinds. Is there anything we can actually afford? The answer to that is no. Absolutely not. So we'll sort that out later on. Okay, so you have a bed. You have absolutely nothing other than the bed, but we promise you more stuff as... Oh, actually, thinking about that. We sell that, and we can sell that, and that's got to give us nearly enough money to do anything at all, so we're back where we were. But never mind. Alright, no school for it. Why turn you into a painting slave? Um, painting is an interesting skill. I'm actually tempted not to let her do that. But, uh, the question is then also, is what are we going to do? <laughs> well, if this is this is if you're gonna if you're gonna have any time of year when something has got the better heart a better of you then it's, it's this is the day for it uh, oh happy 2015 okay come best friends with ellen absolutely impossible to do get a doll's house i can promise you that okay what are we going to do with you my dear uh, why didn't you hate your shower use the loo and Ellen, I think you, yep, you can skip that. Just go to bed. And Daddy Damien will wait. Oh, no, Daddy Damien will answer the phone. Because it's Ivan. Ivan, the guy who slipped out the door and is now making excuses. Yep. Ivan Robbins would like to talk. Hello. Of all the bugs that stayed in this game all the way through, I mean, this was out for about 10 years. The fact that the sound is so terrible in this game doesn't respect volume or anything like that. It's one of the ludicrous bugs that were in this game at all. Yeah, I was I was tempted to, tempted to do so, but uh, I'd actually like to um, ignore the mechanics and actually pretend to. Uh... <sighs> okay. I was not going to um, put Tallulah into boarding school, but now we've got this. So, do you, what do you think? I'm going to ask you guys. Do you, what do you think? Should we enrol her in La Fromage Art School? Right, totally up to you guys. Oh, this is going on for a bit. Uh, but you see I'm sending the child to boarding school and then it'll just be you and me and the sister but we'll ignore that right Damien oh don't pull that face go to the loo and to Lula you go to sleep. There we go. All right. And you have to do that quickly because you're just about to get trampled. <laughs> All right. It's starting to look like nobody actually cares about Tallulah the child and is looking forward to Tallulah the teen. So I'm going to give you a couple more minutes. And if you guys still like the idea... then we will think about putting it into it. The reason why I'm suggesting... 
Um, thinking about this one is because this is where Daddy Damien wants to send her. Give a gift. There we go. Let's promise that one. Can't afford a flu shot, but we can think about giving her a gift if we can think of anything to give her as a gift. So there we go. Right. Any other thoughts? Any else? Anyone else? I'm assuming that Mandarin Moon is already asleep, given the time for her. Uh, but anyone else got the thoughts? <laughs> I think Ellen is going to be the last person on the planet to ever think about having a child. Um, at least in this, this game's version of her. Right. Um, you don't have to work today, so you can work on your charisma. You don't actually have any homework, so there's nothing you can do there. And actually start working on a few little skills, I think. Well, happy 8 o'clock to you, Loki. Michelle, I'm so glad you're happy at this, uh, about the time. Right, okay, right. What are we going to do with you guys? Uh, well, it's fairly obvious what you need to do first. Use, clean, and then go beat Damien around the head and say, we're not going to have this child in the house. No, we can't have a child in the house at all. I want you to send this child to school. No. Um, I was initially against it, but uh, I'm willing to... I'm willing to go with the, the majority vote. Otherwise, you know, what's the point of doing a live stream if I don't ask you guys for your opinions from time to time? So, what are we going to do with these guys today? I think what we're going to do with these guys today is we're going to send them to the festival. If there is a festival, there is not a festival. So we won't send them there. Oh, I have an idea. I think I think Damien's going to take Taluda to his favourite place. And Ellen, I think what we need to do with you is, first of all, let's get you out of those pyjamas. Into everyday clothes. And then I want you to work on your charisma. I try very hard to remember people's names. I mean, I, I have no problem with they're called Bob. But uh, if you change your name to that, in fact, if everyone could change the name to that, it would make my life so much easier. Okay, we're still mostly outvoted. Um, so I will send, I will send Tallulah to um, public school until she is a teenager. But then she comes back because I want her to make these guys' lives a misery. What are you doing? I didn't ask you to read something. I asked you to practice your speech. All right, let's get yourself a few charisma levels. Technically Bob's daughter. Now that's an interesting conversation. How are you doing? You're doing alright. And you're doing alright. And when you get up. In fact. Let's do it now. Come with me little girl. It's time for you to meet your. Ancestors. Right. 
In fact, let's speed things up a little bit. What time is it over here? It is quarter past one. Other people in other time zones, feel free to... What are you reading? <laughs> you be Bob. Okay, right, you go and get yourself something to eat. Eat leftovers. Oh, fish and chips. No. Let's, let's be traditional here. Eat leftovers. Pizza, it's the day after a party. You've got to eat pizza. And you have a shower. And clean things up. Is there anything that needs cleaning? No. Put away leftovers. Learn writing skill. Now, that would be interesting, but I... I ooh, okay, we'll promise it, but probably later on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Off they go. Okay. For the record, okay, I really dislike some aspects of this game. And that's one of them. That sudden doll. Okay, so, right, eat something, eat a bit of cake, and then not read something, uh, read, can you get any more life out of Charisma Volume 1? I don't think you can, um, no handiness, there we go, okay, and let's go and see the rest of the family. Where are you go Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but I think Bob is a good name for a girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, so explore catacombs. And you... Why don't you have a look around here? Uh, don't mourn, but have a look around and see what we can find with you. <laughs> yeah, well. That's a bit like, you know, People say you've got your father's eyes and tend to pat my pockets and say, no, I think they're in my other trousers. Anything interesting in here? These are supposed to be loaded with seeds and unguents and things from faraway places. What's going on? Bip, 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 bip. What a first insect. Well done. <laughs> 